I've just completed the rebuild of my Steve Shoemate SU37. This is the 120% EDF, 120% scale EDF version. I'm using the twin 70 millimeter EDFs. I've already flown these, but um, I was using them without the intake rings inside the uh, nacelles that were um, based on the 64 millimeter EDFs I had in there first. So I wanted to enlarge those to get the airflow to these units. Uh, one thing in, that I really like is the Hobby King. This is the 70 millimeter EDF combo that they've got with the 2900 kilovolt um, uh, motors. It comes with the ESCs with the wires that are long enough to put into the intakes. And these are pre-soldered with Dean's connectors and the motor connectors all pre-soldered. You don't have to do any soldering on those. And you can put them way up in the front there where the intakes it helps with the center of gravity and also it helps to keep them cool. While I had the nacelles off, I redid the whole bottom of the plane with 3 millimeter Depron to make it not only smoother but reinforce it a little bit. You can see all the carbon rods I've got in this wing and still I was getting some flex. The other thing I did was extended the leading edge by about a half an inch on the wing. And it's a little bit raised, kind of like a slat. I wanted to, I've been reading about the slats on the form, so I figured I'd do something here to try to get the plane to fly a little bit better uh, in the slow speed. I also extended the wing tips by two inches. So we've got a wider wing. I think it's going to match the size and weight of the plane a little bit better. Um, I've got the flying elevons on this model, so that during slow flying, which I like to do a lot, I'll get a lot of control out of those elevons. The uh, moving nozzles, these are from Hobby Lobby, 70 millimeter nozzles, they do the trick. And we got the Hobby King uh, 70 millimeter EDF combo. We'll see how it does. I, uh, by accident, when I threw it, I flipped the uh, thruster, the nozzle switch. I also enlarged the wing surface by about, uh, I'd say 10% or something. But it's making a nice difference with the speed of, uh, the, I can fly it slower. All right, here's a glide test. That's pretty good. I think it's ready for paint.